นึ่งเดี๋ยวนะตัวคุณจะพูดอะไรไลฟ์เซสชั่นเดสโนฟฟังชันนิกเกิลฟิกส์เดี๋ยวนะสวันนาวาร์ขอให้มีคลาริฟิเคชันอีกแล้วคุณมีเจนคลาริฟิเคชัน And if you have any question, you can ask me. I'll try to answer. You can ask me. I can see Mr. Salam. Any question you can ask me? Otherwise, we can discuss the overview of the course. Okay. And in between, if you have any question, then we can continue. The question. So basically, this course uh, uh, asked me a uh, question of any field. I think God can also not to be answer on any field. I'm a very person. He tells me that I can in the course. Don't try to ask any other. So that's the uh, uh, limit with all of us. I can ask. You can ask me. Ask uh, our main problem is that we can ask from any field, but answering uh, is uh, difficult. So you ask the question related to this topic only. Only this topic. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, in textile and that too in this topic. I'm here for the last next one hour. Only discuss on of course. Okay, if you have uh, followed this uh, uh, the function, you uh, uh, have the video, uh, uh, and then only uh, and from there, if you have any doubt, only then you can ask me question. And tell extend the voice very. Okay, I'm here to uh, answer the question related to the course. Okay, and uh, we have many other time. We will discuss for um, uh, in other textile related questions. Uh, texturizing also we will we will have other session. Okay, not now. Okay. Um, uh, not now. We will have other session from uh, texturizing. Then you are maybe you are in very in hurry. 
you try to, you are you are trying to from texturizing yeah. separate code for uh, yeah, yeah, there is another course uh, in texturizing professor Pusal, he has actually uh, floated one course on uh, yarn texturizing you can ask a um, uh, question related to texturizing to him he will be the right person to uh, answer your uh, uh, question okay and that's what i'm telling you how can you put parameters of texturizing machine so that uh, texturizing related uh, question you can ask uh, to professor uh, kushal sen you first go through his uh, lecture i think you will get the answer there is a course uh, te te texture yarn texture technology okay and that that's what you can you can ask him this his uh, the question related to texture Okay, now I think uh, if you specific question on this course, let me speak uh, on topic we have covered. Here is a course uh, we have broadly two areas. Uh, testing of functional textiles and testing of uh, technical textiles. In functional textiles, functional textiles basically uh, different functional ligation like for uh, protective application. Different. This functional uh, testing we uh, try to understand. There are um, characteristics one is uh, low stress mechanical characters say use for transmission transmission uh, 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 discussed about moisture uh, that moisture Also, the best Function and test method textiles, ballistic protective uh, textiles, UV resistant textiles, uh, this uh, and also electromagnetic building uh, textiles. So what happened? Here, uh, this uh, technical textiles, we have uh, first uh, discussed the basic understanding of that particular topic, like uh, composite. We have discussed the uh, basic and about the then uh, what done uh, this the this the particular uh, product like the filter of the geotextiles. And uh, functional what we have the this mechanical characteristics, low stress mechanical characteristics, which uh, talks about the fabric handle related characteristics. <coughs> Which are for industrial for apparel textiles. 
like uh, smoothness or roughness or limping quality okay? uh, elastic uh, behavior at low stress so this one uh, characteristics it's uh, built in the fabric handle related low stress uh, mechanical characteristic like uh, bending and here what we have discussed two different modules of uh, bending evaluation system for KSF. Next is that as your So do instruments the stress mechanical characteristics and in Kawata system it has got tools. In module one, it is KSF one with the tensile and shear characteristics at low stress level. Uh, what is that? Uh, how can investigate people? Very um, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you mean by? Uh, Investigate. Uh, are you trying to take uh, sample or take the test? Uh, uh, sample. If you uh, take sampling, you have to learn the different sampling technique and investigate. How in, we invest, investigate what? We can investigate uh, many characteristics. So, to investigate appearance and do some aesthetic characteristics measurement. Otherwise, very normal characteristics, normal characteristics. That you can, if you have, if you can specify, then I can. Uh, I'll be in a position to help you. Okay. Now. Uh, Back to ESA, there are four modules that are known. She said, as KSF2, it measures the bending characteristics. KSF measures the frictional characteristics, and four measures the surface frictional characteristics. Similarly, yeah, here in KSF, what we measure the both the uh, loading direction and unloading direction. We get, get many practically we get and use all city parameters particular the hand to And after this PSA, we we have another uh, set of instruments that's a fast fabric digesting uh, for four and parts. The fast parts two and parts three. These three are the test methods and fast. Uh, Four, that's a, it's a basically. This is there's no instrument; it's a test method. And uh, first one, two, three, these are the, the instruments. And the first one is compression. First two is bending meter, and first three tension. And the uh, dimension is first four.
and can uh, get many other many parameters and from the first system we get one uh, full chart and in control chart we get all these parameters and by looking at by analyzing the control chart one can get overall idea about the uh, February. I think now you can uh, hear clearly. I, I don't know the no problem in my voice during recording. Okay. After the the transmission. So transmitter takes it uh, deals about yet then moisture transmission the liquid in form and transmission is for any functional textiles. Air and uh, not only for functional uh, for like, like filter fabrics, stain, shell cloth, parachute. For all this, we need uh, for air permeability. After we have discussed enough liquid water so in that transfer have two different measurement techniques. One is in the, in the liquid moisture flows in the form of liquid. So for liquid transfer there are techniques and and in Form. Also, in the part of the project, so in the transmission, uh, the liquid transmission takes place in two different stages. Stage one is uh, the wetting of the material, which is initial process, and next. That is second stage is the wicking. That is transmission of liquid through the uh, material. A material, a textile material can transmit only if it gets wet. So I think okay, I depends on the the suction. Angle uh, higher surface tension will not weight the material, so that's it. We measure thing by different technique. This takes are one sure technique. So tensile basically this is an unit which measures the weightability by measuring the weighting. So once the material get wet, it will part weighting and the and in that so we can contact them using tensiometry. Here we have the contact channel directly using the uh, using camera. Okay. 
the liquid drop is placed on the surface and we measure the contact angle. But absorption is getting absorbed by that uh, material uh, fabric or what the weighting angle changes continuously so that change in weighting angle we can monitor using microscope or using uh, high speed camera and that is dynamic so there are two methods one is static weighting angle and another is dynamic weighting angle these are the techniques gone in after this weighting next is that liquid uh, transfer okay. so liquid uh, transmission that is weaking it it takes place in the it is uh, it's a laplace equation okay and uh, for waiting we use uh, that this is a uh, for waiting we use uh, laplace equation So, where in Laplace equation it says that the, the capillary pressure which is proportional to the cos theta, theta is contact angle, inversely proportional to the, the capillary radius. Okay? So, from there we can calculate the Weaking behavior. So, weaking characteristics is measured in uh, by a different way. There are basically three different types of weaking. One is transplanar or transverse weaking, which is uh, extremely important. It measures the liquid transmission from one surface to other surface suppose we are wearing a cloth the at the skin sweat is generated how the sweat will get transmitted from our inner surface of the cloth to the outer surface surface it's governed by the transplanar or transverse wicking characteristics then in plane wicking liquid in one place how it gets transmitted along the surface in horizontal plane horizontal plane so that's uh, measured by in plane wicking and vertical wicking in there are many cases where the fabrics are not in horizontal uh, plane in case the fabrics are in a vertical plane in that case we need to understand we need to measure the vertical or longitudinal weaking characteristics so there are different instruments which have been discussed in the course so In addition to the normal test method, there are other different test methods which measures the, the resistance characteristics or capacitance characteristics of uh, the material. Like if we measure, if we uh, have dry fabric, the resistance will be high, and presence of liquid 
will reduce the resistance. So, if we measure the resistance value, we can indirectly get the weaking characteristics. All these uh, aspects have been discussed in the course. After uh, the functional textiles, then it was uh, started the technical textile part. In technical textile, first composite materials, the testing of composite uh, fiber composite material, so were discussed. So initially in introduction. We have discussed the composite is basically made of three components. Two major components are a matrix and reinforcement component, matrix component and reinforcement component. Another component which is interface between matrix and reinforcement. Continuous uh, component because it is uh, continuous in nature, there is no uh, discontinuity in there. But reinforcing component is it should be ideally the discontinuous uh, in the phase, and then only the networking and uh, stress distribution will be there. So main advantage of uh, um, composite is uh, uh, lighter in weight and higher specific property. So if you if we want higher specific strain, okay, that's uh, because uh, the, at lighter weight, higher strain. So in that those type of application, higher mechanical characteristics. The, we can use the composite material. So there are then we have discussed uh, different types of composites, uh, composite material. So composite materials are uh, classified based on the matrix system. So uh, metal matrix, ceramic matrix, uh, polymer matrix. Our discussion was basically uh, in polymer matrix. Then uh, based on reinforcing material, so uh, there are two types of uh, reinforcing material, particle uh, reinforcement and uh, fibrous reinforcement. Particle also can be uh, described, uh, subdivided into several groups depending on the size of particle, okay. uh, maybe a flake type, maybe powder. And uh, fiber reinforcement, we can have uh, basically two types of fibers. One is synthetic, one is synthetic fiber. Another is uh, natural fiber reinforcement. Based on uh, reinforcing structure, we can uh, divide the composite material. Like uh, if we uh, reinforce the composite by using fiber it will be called fiber reinforcing material then there are yarn reinforced composite and uh, fabric reinforced composite uh, depending on the type of fiber fabric we can divide like oven uh, um, oven fabric reinforced composite knitted fabric reinforced composite non oven fabric reinforced composite and a specific type of fabric is a braided uh, reinforced composite and also fabric reinforcement can be divided into two dimensional uh, reinforcement and uh, three dimensional 3D uh, fabric reinforced composite. And uh, now directly coming to the uh, 
testing uh, part. So if we want to test the composite, so we must test all individual component. So in addition to the whole uh, composite. So uh, before making the composite, we must select the component like matrix. So we must uh, understand the characteristics of matrix. Then uh, reinforcing material, we must understand the characteristics of fiber, yarn and fabric. And then coming to the prepared uh, prepare evaluation and up finally uh, composite evaluation. So in this total discussion, we have uh, discussed all the uh, testing uh, characteristic testing methods for all the components like matrix, uh, reinforcing material, prepreg uh, evaluation, composite evaluation, uh, separate. So uh, first coming to the matrix characterization. So if we see a matrix, there are two uh, different types of matrix. One is a thermo set matrix and then this thermoplastic matrix. So if we see the test methods, test methods for both the matrix are almost same except few test methods which are specific for uh, thermoplastic and or thermoplastic, thermoset. Okay. And thermoset matrix, are the, they are basically uh, characterized by irreversible process. They are cross-linked and once they are solidified, we cannot uh, actually bring them uh, back okay? due to cross-linking. And uh, typically this matrix in normal temperature or low temperature, they are in very low viscosity, typically in liquid form. But once it is, they are cured at high temperature, uh, relatively high temperature, they get solidified and they cannot come back to the, again, it's a previous stage. The examples of uh, thermoset uh, polymers are epoxy uh, resin, okay, phenolic resin, unsaturated polyester. So these are the examples. Now, the type of testing, what we do, uh, is that uh, for thermoset polymers or uh, IR spectroscopy is done on uh, thermoset uh, resin HPLC high performance liquid chromatography then we measure the viscosity at low temperature we must know the viscosity because viscosity is very important characteristics of uh, matrix because the matrix uh, component before um, uh, just before the composite formation it must penetrate inside the reinforcing material so lower the viscosity the uh, penetration will be better next is the gel time and this gel time it actually indicates the time for solidification and this is the method this gel time uh, this parameter which is only used for the thermoset matrix but other in IR spectroscopy HPLC viscosity we can measure for uh, thermoplastic also moisture content we must know the uh, level of moisture present in the matrix material mechanical properties uh, density we can uh, measure so ir spectroscopy uh, it uh, gives the idea about the different functional groups present in that uh, in that particular um, uh, polymer okay? so it uh, gives it gives us idea about the purity of the uh, material Okay. And then HPLC, uh, it uh, actually is used to identify 
and quantify the components present in the mixture so that uh, the, uh, the using the chromatographic column if we have different mixture of the uh, material we can get idea about the uh, it's also give the idea about the additives present in the uh, matrix viscosity we can measure by uh, viscometer and gel time as i have mentioned it gives the idea about the time uh, if, uh, required to solidify moisture content uh, basically uh, we must know the moisture content of the matrix material and uh, as the moisture content increases it generally the property gets deteriorated now coming to uh, thermoplastic uh, matrix as i have mentioned most of the characteristics we uh, it is uh, measured similar uh, to the thermoset matrix uh, but uh, there are few other uh, characteristics melting uh, temperature using uh, thing so this uh, melting temperature and melt flow index they are uh, extremely important for uh, for this uh, thermoplastic matrix with the thermoplastic matrix we must melt to form the uh, composite material so we must know the melting temperature if the uh, polymer has got very high melting point then the energy required will be high and it may sometime deteriorate the uh, it may affect the uh, this reinforcing material also and melt flow index which shows that uh, the how uh, easily how uh, smoothly uh, the, the molten polymer will flow inside the that uh, reinforcing material structure so differential scanning uh, calorimetry which keeps uh, the peak and uh, depending on the uh, type of uh, material it's a crystalline polymer it gives the endothermic peak and uh, then melt flow index as i have mentioned so after uh, matrix characteristics then we have uh, discussed uh, the uh, reinforcing material characteristics in reinforcing material characteristics there are different types of reinforcing material uh, particularly we have discussed the textile structure in the form of yarn fiber yarn and fabric so fiber starting from fiber identification then fiber fineness fiber length measurement and length distribution these are all uh, similar to the normal uh, textile uh, measurement as we have discussed in uh, different other courses that is evaluation of textile material so fiber length parameters are the staple length mean length upper quarter length effective length modal length span length upper half mean length all these parameters and length variation which is also important length in, in for uh, staple fiber we must know the length and length distribution length we must know the length variation like the dispersion percent uniformity index uniformity ratio short fiber content floating fiber index all these parameter we must know because this will directly affect the uh, characteristics of the composite material so 
So these are the different uh, length and uh, then fiber uh, tensile after length then tensile characteristics. Tensile characteristics is extremely important uh, because uh, if the fiber is weak, then effectively it will uh, its uh, composite characteristics, uh, the reinforcing characteristics is will be deteriorate. So fiber tensile characteristics is extremely important, and at the same time fiber uh, the elongation, stress and elongation also it should be as low as possible. Otherwise the composite uh, it will directly affect the behavior of uh, composite material. So moisture content we can measure and uh, the TGA we can with amount of weight changes at uh, the temperature thermal uh, gravimetric analysis we can uh, we must know because at high temperature how the um, fabric uh, fiber will get uh, affected that gives idea we get idea about from the pg analysis then uh, fiber surface characteristics surface roughness we can measure okay by uh, frictional coefficient then surface energy we can measure using contact angle Then fiber uh, surface modification of natural fiber, we can uh, modify the surface modification uh, uh, natural fiber surface by the, some uh, chemical or chemical treatment, physical treatment or enzymatic treatment. These are required uh, for uh, proper uh, interface between the uh, matrix and fiber. So there are different types of uh, this uh, interface material. Uh, yarn. Then after fiber, we can uh, measure uh, different yarn characteristics like yarn twist, uh, type of yarn, uh, whether it's a filament or staple yarn. What type of uh, constituent fibers are there? The yarn strength and fabric. Uh, if we uh, use the fabric as an enforcing material, from uh, fabric thickness to type of fabric, what type the uh, constructional characteristics of fabric they are important. So different mechanical properties of fabric. So we uh, measure, we have discussed the measurement technique of all these uh, parameters. Then coming to uh, composite testing, we have discussed detailed about different uh, composite uh, testing. Uh, we also discussed um, various failure mechanisms like uh, matrix packing, fiber pull out. Uh, bridging fiber, fiber rupture. So all this uh, we have uh, discussed. Okay. And how to measure the uh, composite uh, different testing we have discussed, like tensile properties, <coughs> flexural properties, impact properties, compression behavior. Fiber matrix bonding characteristics, is, which is extremely important. If uh, we use a very good matrix and very extremely good uh, fiber uh, material, but if the fiber matrix bonding uh, is not proper, then the matrix, uh, ultimate matrix characteristics will, be, will get deteriorated. So, fiber matrix bonding characteristics is also important. We need to measure. Interlaminar uh, strength, so viscoelastic and dynamic properties also. Density and white content, white content is also uh, very important. And we get uh, white content by indirectly by measuring the density of uh, the uh, composite. And 
uh, higher the void content, uh, the, the lower will be the uh, specific properties. The uh, property will get deteriorated tremendously. And uh, tensile characteristics then, and also we have discussed uh, different uh, failure mode. So that uh, by uh, looking at the type of failure, we can uh, classify the type of uh, uh, breakage and this is uh, for tensile and which is important must know the uh, in addition to the tensile characteristic value we must know the the type of uh, and reason of breakage it may be due to the jaw breakage or jaw slippage so we must uh, uh, eliminate those data so that's why we uh, must understand the mode of failure and this mode of failure we have discussed in detail during the course and uh, after tensile then we have discussed compression characteristics it's not the compression like uh, fabric compression here we, are, we have discussed compression on the plane in plane compression okay it's not across the plane in plane compression which is extremely important uh, compression characteristics for uh, reinforcement application for structural application where the load is applied not only always in tensile characteristics but along the in plane compression characteristics uh, load is applied and that by compression testing we get uh, idea about the and uh, this type of behavior so after compression uh, characteristics then uh, another important characteristics for structural uh, composites are it's a uh, flexural testing because it's not necessarily always the load will be in plane uh, direction it may be a uh, cross plane direction uh, and then if the load is cross plane direction that will actually try to bend the uh, composite and we must uh, know the uh, flexural characteristics and we have different types of flexural uh, testing uh, typically which is used for basically three point uh, loading system and uh, four point loading system in three point loading system the uh, single load is applied uh, from the top and uh, the composite plate is supported by two supporting pins and uh, in the four point two loading pins are used and uh, supported by two supporting pins okay so this uh, difference between uh, three point bending and four point bendings were also discussed and different case studies were discussed for uh, uh, for a specific research uh, result we have uh, discussed and after that another important properties uh, which is impact uh, testing of uh, composite and here we have discussed three different uh, techniques uh, two techniques are they are working on pendulum uh, uh, type impact tester and uh, these are isod impact test uh, method another is sharpie uh, impact test method and, and other test method is, is a drop weight impact test So I thought uh, what we do is we uh, incorporate one notch of 45 degree angle and a notch in the, no, uh, at the middle and lower side is gripped and the support and, uh, and the upper side is hit by the pendulum and the, the impact side the notch is uh, faced on the 
in the impact site and we get the impact value okay impact energy and impact strength we get and in another method that is chart peak taking it's a little bit different where uh, the composite again we create one notch at the uh, midpoint center and the composite is supported where the loading the impactor impactor impact and the from the top notch is faced at the bottom at the bottom face so we get the again impact energy amount of energy absorbed by the specimen we can measure okay. another method is the the stm d7136 method or 7136m method where one impactor is there drop weight is there it's laminate plate subjected to a, a drop weight impact event okay the drop weight with a certain load it impact at certain velocity and we get the impact energy okay? there are different types of damages due to impact we have discussed next parameter which we have discussed is that it's a fiber matrix interface bonding strength so fiber matrix interface bonding strength it's actually there are four types of bonding mechanisms in between fiber and matrix one is that adsorption and weighting of bond so uh, the matrix gets adsorbed at the surface okay and that it's a uh, uh, that type of bonding is there another bonding is that that, that mechanical keying so if we create unevenness in the surface of the composite is like reinforcing material and the on um, the matrix penetrates in the uneven uh, portion and it forms a mechanical key locking mechanical locking and that type of keying enhances the mechanical characteristics another type is that chemical reaction so you can form some chemical bond okay and between the five matrix and the reinforcing material and which enhance the mechanical characteristics and uh, fourth one is the electrostatic attraction so we can generate some electrostatic field and that will enhance the um uh, matrix and uh, reinforcement uh, that uh, mixing and that uh, the bonding will enhance so this bonding between the five uh, that uh, reinforcement material reinforcing material like fiber or yarn and the this uh, matrix we can measure using the single fiber pull out test single fiber push out test fiber push down test and full fragmented uh, fragmentation test so this four uh, techniques we have discussed okay and uh, they have their own uh, merits and demerits we have all discussed this uh, techniques i am not going to discuss again then uh, white content white content uh, actually if we know the uh, density theoretical density and experimental density actual density theoretical density we is calculated based on the fiber 
density and that is the reinforcing density and the matrix density knowing the uh, volume fraction we will get the theoretical density and uh, the actual density that we can get uh, experimentally and from there we can calculate the white quantity And uh, uh, DMA dynamic uh, mechanical characteristics. It's actually uh, this is uh, uh, used to study the viscoelastic behavior, glass transition temperature of polymer. So that uh, we can uh, measure uh, these characteristics by DMA. In addition to the this. Uh, Test methods which I have already mentioned are uh, destructive in nature. Okay. There are many methods available which are non destructive in nature. And non destructive natures are extremely important for composite application during use. Suppose we want to assess. We want to assess the characteristics of a composite structure which has already been made. We cannot use the destructive. So we have to keep the structure intact. So for those applications, we use non-destructive method of measurement. So there are different uh, uh, techniques. These are the Ultrasonic inspection technique, okay, where we measure the, uh, we propagate the ultrasonic uh, wave, and in case of any impurities, any defect present inside the structure, we can get idea, and this can work in uh, two modes. One is reflective mode, another is transmission mode. Okay, or uh, attenuating mode. Okay, transmission or attenuation mode. This they have their own advantages and disadvantages. I have been discussed. Then thermographic uh, inspection. Again, it uh, works in on uh, transmission and reflection mode. Here IR camera is used and other side we can view in uh, IR camera control panel and then viewing camera is there and looking at the uh, the uh, thermographic image we can assess the presence of any impurity or any defect inside the structure then the radiographic technique inspection technique was discussed then shearographic inspection were discussed. Okay. So all this uh, uh, there are, uh, in the course we have discussed uh, detailed techniques. In addition to this uh, few uh, things uh, that are composite, we have discussed uh, the testing techniques of many other uh, technical textiles like uh, uh, filter fabrics, geotextiles, ballistic protection textiles, UV uh, resistance textiles, compression bandage, electromagnetic shielding textiles. So this all we have discussed. If you have any, uh, in this short time we cannot discuss uh, all this um, aspects. So, if you have any question, you can just uh, write to me. I will be happy to 